So we all know that if you're growing plants and food naturally, having lots of soil life is a really good thing. But what do you do if you don't have optimal levels of life in your soil? In this video, I'm going to talk you through three ways that you can boost soil bacteria to help you grow better crops. People often get carried away with fungi, but bacteria have an incredibly useful tool. This rapid multiplication process is a key benefit. It means that they're able to cycle and produce lots of nutrients very quickly in and around the plant roots. But if you have inadequate numbers of soil bacteria to begin with, what things can you do to drive those numbers up? Here is my top three tips. Number one, check that the soil conditions are good enough. What I mean by checking the soil conditions is looking at the air in the soil. You should be aerating the soil occasionally or, at the very least, timing it, especially if you're running a no-dig system, which means that you can't turn the soil over periodically. You will also want to check that there is adequate moisture in the soil and make sure that the soil is well fed with the addition of really good quality organic matter. Applying a well-made organic compost will not only add some more bacteria of the right type if it's made correctly, but it will also feed the existing microbes, help maintain porosity, air in the soil, and regulate those soil moisture levels, which are key in driving microbial activity. On number two, add bacterial products. If the conditions are right to receive and breed bacteria, then you could try adding some different strains of key species like nitrogen-fixing bacteria. There are different strains available on the marketplace that you could try adding other functional bacteria, but they should really be adapted or native to the climate they're going to be applied in. That's key for them to deliver any short, medium and long-term benefit. They have to be adapted so that they thrive and not just survive. At last. Feed the bacteria directly. What I mean by this is the correct types of food that nourish and stimulate them to reproduce and grow in numbers. Foods made of simple sugars that contain simple carbon compounds are readily digestible and accessible to these simple bacteria. They love it, and it gives them the fuel they need to grow quickly and do their thing. Molasses and sugar-based products like brown sugar are a great starting point, and the great thing about these is you can also get them in organic formats, often in shops or supermarket aisles. So there we go. That is my top three tips. Number one is checking that the soil conditions are good. Number two is adding microbial products. And number three is feeding the organisms directly. I hope you found this video useful. If you have something to say about it, leave it in the comments below and please consider subscribing to the channel.